Let's talk about the weather now Ooh. because we're all looking forward to this weekend. My goodness, it, it's going to be like an it inferno. Is. <laughs> yes, uh, an inferno. <laughs> so we may have to put any kind of sports this weekend on the yeah. back shelf. Yeah, it's going to be yeah, exactly. It's going to be uh, hard to kind of uh, cool down here with the way those temperatures are going to be cranking up. So I did want to get you the latest on that heat wave, and we'll get you all squared away. And as we started off tonight, I wanted to get you that overhead view of what I'm tracking out here on the weather maps. I showed this earlier, but uh, certainly very important so you know uh, how things are lining up and you can see today this high pressure right here this is actually our developing heat wave just off to the south so that's what brought us that quick burst of heat through our inland valleys in the low 100s but here's the thing hang on tomorrow we get this cooler system moving off to the north that's actually going to drop temperatures down a few degrees and then again we heat up through this weekend so we'll get you all the particulars on that heat wave here in just a little bit but let's get you through our Friday forecast and we still start off pretty refreshing around uh, 5, 6, and 7 o'clock. As you get the kids off to school, yourself to work, temperatures here in the 60s. Not going to need a jacket here really for too long because, again, those numbers will be climbing up tomorrow. Uh, 58 here in San Francisco, East Bay at 64. So you can see those highs. Instead of low 100s inland, we're back down to 96 in Concord, 96 in Morgan Hill, up to Napa, 91. We're right here in San Jose, upper 80s. Oakland to San Francisco in the 70s and right there at the coastline we're at 65. So tomorrow, OK, we can deal with that. Then everything changes for us once we hit Saturday, Sunday, right into Labor Day. We're tracking that area of high pressure that I just showed you, and that's going to expand all across uh, California and move right over the Bay Area. That's where we're going to get into this dangerous heat. Now, Everything right now is continuing to show this lining up, but I want to show you behind the scenes what I'm watching out for. And these are basically two key factors uh, going into our forecast. That is the cool ocean breeze and cooler air to the north. If any one of these were to get stronger, the heat may not be as extreme. Again, I don't see that happening at this second. But we're keeping an eye on that ocean breeze. If it comes in a little bit stronger, again, our numbers may not be as hot. Nonetheless, here throughout the Bay Area, you can see those excessive heat warnings and advisories in place. 100 to 110 inland at the coastline, 70s to 80s. Also, of course, that increased fire danger. So no doubt, hottest day is going to be on Labor Day for Monday. Check this out. Ouch. Brentwood, 112, 109 Tracy, 107 Livermore, 101 in Napa, Morgan Hill at 103. And you can see how those numbers will step down as we get closer to the coastline. So thankfully, we do have some sort of an ocean breeze. So in San Francisco, 80s rolling in Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Then we drop it off next Wednesday and Thursday. And here is the latest again, Monday, Labor Day, 108. We'll hang on to it Tuesday, 105. I've warmed that up a little bit and then we'll see it trail off Wednesday and Thursday. Following weekend, we have some low 90s coming in. That's going to feel really nice. <laughs> All of a sudden, low 90s are going to feel fantastic. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's going to be good. That's okay. a good sale on that. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Yeah.